Testing at home for COVID-19 just got a whole lot cheaper if you have insurance. And starting later this week, at-home tests will become available from the federal government to anyone for free. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno shows us how to get one each way. If you are lucky enough to find an at-home COVID test in store, insurance companies will now cover up to eight tests per month. But don't expect to get that money back right away. But I just think with the limited amount of time that we had lead from when it was announced, it's just not all the pieces are in place yet. Panama Pharmacy owner Kevin Duane says right now, you're not likely to find a store able to bill your insurance immediately, meaning you will likely have to be reimbursed for any test you buy in store today. So I did find a test here at the CVS in Arlington. And when I asked the cashier, you know, how does it work? Do I just get it for free? Do I show you my insurance card? He really said he, he didn't really know. So I ended up having to pay for it out of pocket, saving my receipt, gonna put it through my insurance and get reimbursed. And, you know, I talked to another pharmacist who really said, it's a case by case basis. It depends on your insurance company. So more than likely you're going to have to pay out of pocket for these tests and then get reimbursed. But if you are paying out of pocket, make sure you're not spending too much on a test. Insurance companies will only cover up to $12 for each kit. Dwayne says at some point insurance companies may have preferred places for you to pick up a test. But for now, that's not the case. I think that some of the health insurers were taken by surprise. so. Everything is not in place yet. Which is why for now, Dwayne says most insurance companies are telling their customers to save the receipts and they'll need to submit for reimbursement. But if you don't have insurance or don't want to go through that process, starting Wednesday, anyone can order four free at-home tests at covidtest.gov. But expect the test to take 7 to 12 days to ship. So if you need a test right away, Dwayne's advice is to pack your patience on getting the money back and save that receipt. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.